We've seen young people explore their identity and how they identify with their community in Evenwood, working with Evenwood History Group and working with them to explore their community. When the History Group came in and like, showed us their photos, like, I didn't recognise most of them from our Evenwood now. So like to go find where they actually were and take the photos of it is now is like it's like a big change and it looks really different. You like understand where they came from, like why they took them pictures and like how they actually took them. Pinhole photography was chosen as a tool to use because it enabled us to get the young people to explore older, more traditional ways of taking photos. It brought a way as us connecting the old with the new, using new modern techniques but creating something that looks very traditional and older than what it actually is. We took pictures of somewhere that meant something to us, like about where we go and like how it even would and like how we see it. A light goes through like a little pinhole that you put in and then you like do it for like 45 seconds and then you close the box up and then you like you develop it so you put it in like the chemical and then it'll have like developed. When I first like saw my image and in the images like coming together I was like wow like you would have thought that came off a phone and it actually came off like one of them it looks like mint. It forces you to slow down when you capture an image so the whole slogan of beat the scroll for Facebook and social media um, our young people had to slow down so they weren't scrolling through things quite as fast as they're used to forcing them to spend time with each other looking and talking to each other and with other people while they took the photos it gets you out more so like you're not just by yourself like it'll get you out like talking to like new people about like how they see the different places that you're taking pictures of. It's actually been really fun. Like at, at first, when we got first got told about it, I thought it would have been like boring and like not my thing, but I think it's actually been really good. I feel more part of my town now. In order to celebrate the work the young people have been doing, we are launching a trail because we've got all of those pinhole photography photos developed. They'll be going into geocache boxes located around the village with a map drawn by young people of Evenwood. We will be asking everybody that comes along to draw, doodle, sketch onto something that they can add to our hidden treasure trail. What we have seen from those that did engage in it is that they found an interest, they were able to connect with people they thought there was no connection with and as a result they feel a stronger connection to their community and want to get out and get involved in more activities, in more things to do with their community and that in turn leads to reducing that isolation. It encourages them to get out of the house and after school and be more active. As part of this project, we've been lucky enough to secure additional funding from Northern Heartlands to create um, a geocache trail related to the hidden treasures that the young people have created as a result of this project, enabling more and more young people to engage in the project, get out and active, um, improving physical and mental well-being, but being together as a community, engaging in it and reducing that loneliness and isolation.